It has a manpower emergency right now. Um, I mean, Zelensky has just come out and said, we're 700,000 men short. Where'd they go? I don't know. <laughs> they're all dead. Uh, but they're 700,000 men short. Um, and they only have 200 to 300,000 men available for the front lines right now. And that's not enough. And they're losing men at thousands a day right now. And, the, you know, and they've got nothing, nothing to, to, to hold the Russians back. So they, they're, they need manpower right now. And so Macron, having moved his ship into the ship of states, moving in this direction, all that momentum, Macron doesn't want to hit the brakes or turn around because that makes France look bad. So Macron is saying, in order to maintain this momentum, we have to do something that keeps Ukraine viable. Ukraine needs manpower. That's their number one pressing issue right now, manpower over everything else. And the easiest way to get manpower is to basically put foreign troops in to not in a frontline combat capacity, but in a rear area support capacity to relieve Ukrainian troops who can then go to the front lines. The irony is all you're going to get out of that is 60,000 troops. You're not going to get any more than that. Um, but that's better than nothing. Uh, that buys time to, you know, maybe Ukraine can come up with a magic mobilization scheme, which they can't do. Um, but Macron is, is committed to this. And um, so the French ship is moving, the German ship is moving, the American ship has stopped, and America now, literally, we're in a situation where our national security has been hijacked by France and Germany, because they're doing things that, if they are implemented, commit us to a war that we don't want to fight. And the other thing about this is uh, the American people understand we do have something called the Constitution. Congress is the only body capable of declaring a war. We're not at war with Russia right now. We're, we're going to be at war. France keeps doing what they're doing and Germany keeps doing what they're doing. We're going to be at war, but it's a war that hasn't been um, discussed by Congress. Have, has Congress voted on this to declare war? The President of the United States, of course, can commit American troops under the War Powers Act, but only you know in a situation where we've been attacked and it's a pressing issue and he doesn't have time to notify Congress. Um, but has the President said, this is what we want? We want to support this. No, the president's saying the exact opposite. We don't want a war. We don't want American troops there. But we're the American people are ignorant of this. And we're going to wake up one day thinking that, well, it's okay. There can't be a war with Russia because Congress hasn't declared war. And the president isn't articulating war like that. He just fired Victoria Nuland. So clearly we're not going to war with Russia. We're going to go to war with Russia if France and Germany keep going in this direction because it's inevitable. And that, that means that we've allowed foreign entities to hijack congressional processes, constitutional processes. This is a very dangerous situation for America, for Americans, um, for the world, to be honest. But I don't think most Americans understand how bad things are. You should...